Okay, we start our session uh, today with session of Umul Kitab Al-Fatihah. Okay, so this is basically the first uh, coaching for uh, Sukip 2022. Uh, so if you if you look uh, this uh, chest training video, this chest training videos, uh, you will what we call you will get it. Uh, I will send it to WhatsApp group. Uh, so if you look in our previous coaching, you can see that we cover database, we cover opening, we cover middle game. We cover what? We cover tactic. We cover also game analysis. So there are something that is missing here. What is it? What is missing here? What is missing here? We have what? We have game analysis. We have tactic. We have middle game. We have opening. We have database. There are something missing here. End game. End game. Okay. So the end game is. Uh, we not cover at all before. Eh? We cover just maybe some of it here. For example, let's say maybe, yeah, very few lah, end game. The reason why I don't cover end game previously is because in previous Masum, you play online. And the time control is very little. Uh, around 15 minutes or 10 minutes only. So they are not much. So I focus more on tactic. I focus more on tactic because when you are lower in time, normally the win or lose is happen because of tactics. More, most often than time, most often than not lah. Okay, so that's why we don't cover end game before. So because your sukip uh, later on is 60 minutes, that is tentatively, uh, that's what they plan, 60 minutes, but yeah, 60 minutes plus 30 seconds. So there are high probability that your game will go to a game. Okay, we'll go to the end game. You will start to think longer. When you think longer, then you will not fall into fall uh, into tactic so much lah. So the game will be uh, carried forward into the end game, and the end game uh, is where is what distinguish good play. Uh, some people say it is the end game that distinguish whether you are good player or not good player. Because if you can, you can memorize the opening. You can memorize the opening. You can win using the opening. But that doesn't uh, signify you are a strong player. Because you just memorize. But for the end game, it's about understanding. Yes, you need to memorize some end game, some theoretical end game. But end game is more about understanding. So that's why uh, people say, if you are good in the end game, then uh, most likely you are... Uh, good uh, in chess lah. So that's what we will cover uh, this uh, coming training session lah. So your training session this for Sukip 2022 I will focus on end game. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see first. Okay. Okay, so before we start with the end game, let's start first. How, uh, when you start playing chess lah, when you start playing chess and before we go to the end game, when you start playing chess, this is chess board. When you start playing chess, normally you are get mated early. Okay, you are let's say you are beginner. Normally you are get mated early. So for example, you play this like this, and then you play like this, and then you play like this, and then you suddenly get checkmate like this. So this is the uh, what we call the the quickest checkmate. So this is what we call the full smack. Okay, so this what happen when you are beginner, you are getting checkmate early. Okay, but of course if you look here. This is basically what we call no one will play F3, right? I mean, you are uh, taught in the beginning of chess uh, journey that don't, don't push this pound, push this either what we call this pound or this pound, push the center pound. So, when you play, uh, so when you are beginner, you are you are taught about the check mat that is happened early in the game by uh, when you play this, what we call this uh, what we call this e4 e5 and then you play like this and then you play like this and then you play this thing you play this and then you check mat like this so this like three move check mat or people call it uh, what we call the scholar mat so this is basically what we call scholar mat eh? scholar mat or four move check mat eh? check mat okay so this is what happened in the 
your early uh, time uh, when you are beginner okay so now uh, over time you feel that this thing okay bringing the queen early is not so advisable it's not so advisable so maybe you can put this thing like uh, what we call this thing the, the, the symbol like that and then also this 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 is like blunder and so on okay okay so then you become stronger and stronger you will not you you don't play queen uh, early on so you start play a uh, proper you start play like uh, developing the knight first because you know that if you develop the queen early on then uh, you might what we call the queen might be harassed by the what we call by the opponent uh, piece so you start uh, improving yourself instead of bringing the queen early now you bring the piece first okay you bring the knight in okay so now let's say you you open play like this and then you what we call you play like this you still want to use what whatever you 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 learn before you you this the idea of checkmate early on the f7 square uh still what we call still uh still still something that you love to do so but instead of playing with the queen so now you start uh coming with the knight so but still you use the same uh feature like before you put the bishop attacking this what we call this uh the weak uh, f7 pump so let's say your opponent also become stronger than before so he play like what we call uh, like a modest move and know a little bit about opening and then you you start what we call you play and see sick you, you start to develop you learn okay in chess you need to develop early in the opening and then let's say you open them play like this huh? play like this this is like what we call dubious lah dubious move lah is uh dubious, dubious move because yeah i mean it's not really uh what you call not really uh, i don't say it's not really it's not really good i mean it's dubious lah i mean that better you develop other thing first okay because as you can see here the king is for example this is far away uh to get castling compared to this what we call to this white king yeah so so that's why people said this dubious move okay so here uh you know there are some trap related to this you uh play this uh, what we call the s3 and then you go here and then you can play like this lah uh, in order to uh, what we call to make do some mat lah if let's say this bishop take the queen you can just check mat here okay you just check mat here okay so this is what we call the legal mat ah the legal mat the legal mat okay so coming back here okay why you play this s3 instead of playing this straight away because when you play like this the knight will take there and the knight cover this what we call this bishop okay of course if you do like this uh, if let's say you do like this if the bishop take the the queen still the checkmate still happen checkmate still happen here in the middle of the board but the idea is that when you play the idea you play this what we call s3 is to make sure this bishop on this s5 is not covered is not protected by this knight when the knight is taking here okay so that's why you play s3 first you don't play like this because you uh, the, the 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 black will not take the queen but do like this lah so protect the uh, bishop okay okay so here <coughs> So let's say we uh, follow just before you play at this let's say the black doesn't take huh? let's say black doesn't take this thing okay let's say black uh, uh, take this thing so you get this uh, what we call this bishop for free but remember the black also can take this for free yeah for free but you have this thing you have this check here and then you can take this thing lah let's say you can just do this you can take like this thing so you are one pound up lah you are not winning yet but at least you are one point up if you calculate they are one two three four five eh five six seven eight okay your opponent only one two three four five six seven so that's one pound uh advantage is enough if you are a strong player it's enough to win against a weak player lah. so that is basically the what we call uh the, the the trap that uh, normally uh, you know in the beginning of 
journey in the beginning of your journey of uh, becoming chess player lah so the reason why I show all this why I show this check mat here this what we call the legal mat legal mat legal mat uh, this what we call the scholar mat and this what we call the fool's mat is because when you play a game one of the uh, you need to know also uh, certain basic checkmate uh, basic checkmate how to make with the queen with the rook with the bishop and so on but before we go there let's say let's see uh, one game here okay let's say you play this game uh, e4 let's say i promote this uh, promote variation okay so the game that i will show you is the game uh, by the morphe uh. so you play like this like this and then you play uh, what we call uh, d6 Okay, let's say now uh, your opponent becomes stronger. Okay, previously you can play against your opponent this legal mate. Let's say now your opponent become even stronger now. Uh, not easy, uh, what we call uh, SP4. So you still play NF3 and then your opponent play uh, what we call D6. And then let's say you play like this and then you play, uh, eh, you play this uh, Bishop uh, G4. You pin this thing. Uh, uh, of right okay let's say i put this like a uh, promote variation let's say this i promote variation promote variation okay let's say bishop g4 okay now compare with previously you cannot do this anymore because they uh, in order to do that uh legal checkmate uh the name of the checkmate you need to have the bishop here but the bishop is not here yet and also the knight is not here in order to make uh, the legal checkmate like before this one in order to make this type of checkmate is you need to have the knight and bishop uh the, this knight and bishop must be there lah so you have this when you pin here this is not so bad lah uh, it's still not good but it's not also so bad so it's still dubious lah the reason why it's still dubious is because you it's better for black to uh, what we call to to develop their piece rather than uh, this uh, knight before the bishop People said that develop the knight before the bishop because uh, the knight is slower pieces than uh, the bishop. The knight, if if you want to move the knight, you need to take times, okay? You need to take time. But the bishop can go straight away in one go. So that's why people said develop the knight first before the bishop because the knight is slower than the bishop. Okay, let's say black play like this, okay? Uh, black want to take this and then uh, what we call and then uh, to take this for free lah because you want to take uh, the idea is that the black want to what we call activate uh, uh, enter insert null move okay the idea is that uh, white black want to take this and then this and then you can take for free lah that's one of the idea of the black even though it's not really free because you can have a lot of things here but at least that's one of the idea of the bishop he want to what we call to remove this defender of this pawn okay so uh, so white play like this okay take like this okay and then now uh, black uh, take like this because if let's say uh, if let's say eh apa ni Okay, and this null move is null move. Oh, no, null move. Okay, this. Eh, kenapa jadi? Jadi, okay, okay. So this is this is make me promote variation. Okay, so uh, white take on the e5. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, yeah, you just want to liquidate the center. So black take this thing. Okay, the reason is that if let's say black take this thing, then you what we call uh, you can just take here and then you can check take and then you get free pawn lah. So that's one thing. So that's why uh, black capture this first and then white capture like this and then capture like this and then now similar with the legal bit before, you can see this configuration attacking this uh, pawn. So you bring this uh, what we call this uh, bishop uh, this bishop there lah. Okay. So you want you use even though uh, the game is different but the idea is still the same as before you want to attack this what we call this weak pawn on the f7 with the bishop and also the queen so you can see uh, knowing a certain pattern can help you to utilize it 
the similar pattern in different game so it's not like when you play when you learn chess you need to memorize uh, you need to memorize some pattern but the pattern that you memorize can transcend meaning that it can be used uh, in the familiar manner uh, in certain situation for example like this it's still the same pattern like the uh, make like a scholar make before like this make before the same uh, the same idea lah so coming back with here you want to check that okay so let's say uh, black want to what we call to uh, to what we call to prevent that to prevent this frontal attack by the queen so in this case you can see because there are no more bishop here this pawn is basically weak okay so you can just do this double attack you can attack this and also you can attack this together okay so so in this case uh, 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 what we call uh, uh, apa tu? Uh, white uh, black must decide how uh, should uh, he play with this remember you are white is attacking two place f7 and b7 so either one of these must be fall so the black play this uh, queen e7 queen uh, e7 in this case okay basically the, the game that i show you is basically the game from the morphe morphe uh, was just uh, duke of brunswick ke apa call is so what is is so what i don't i don't remember but it's basically uh, happened in 191858 like that is so is so is so what like that Okay, like that lah. So the game that I show you just now is basically the game from Morphe and Duke of Brunswick. Morphe, this Morphe is basically the world champion. Uh, so the Morphe, Paul Morphe is basically the uh, the the this thing, this guy. This guy is basically uh, people regarded uh, him as the earlier champion lah. Even though he's not like official chess champion, but people uh, what we call regarded this guy as one of the uh, strong player in uh, 90s in, in 80s before uh, a long time ago lah so this game the game that i show you just now the one that i play this is basically the game between morphy and duke of brunswick carl and isawat so this they play this game in one opera uh, it's like a theater so some people call this game as opera 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 game because why because they play in a theater like that sort of like so let's re let's uh recap again so morphe play e4 e5 and f3 d6 this thing 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 okay okay until here so the black play queen e7 this is one of the best defense lah the reason why you play this uh queen uh e7 is because of this you you take care of this but some of you might say what happened what about this is it free are you giving this what we call this route for free because when you take this you can also take this right so the answer is no because when you try if let's say you take this thing you have i don't know uh, i still don't remember how to take this thing okay so let's say here if let's say i remove all the color okay let's say now let's say now uh what to move what play like this then black can play check here okay when you play check like this at least you need to take lah because you're not you get free uh queen lah uh black will get queen free so you take you take check and then at least at least at this position white uh, uh black is just losing one pound one pound compared in the game okay so at least black can defend yet remember losing one pound doesn't mean you are losing yet you there are a lot of play can be uh can be what we call can be uh can be start from there lah so losing one pound doesn't mean the end of everything so in this case that's the reason why uh this uh queen e7 is the best defensive move lah of course uh morphy know that you don't take this you just develop this 
uh, Murphy play uh, knight c3. The reason for this is twofold. Not only he take care of this pawn, because remember, this pawn, previously you see the, the what we call the queen take care of this pawn. But now when the queen go here, this pawn is already what we call uh, not, not really uh, protected. So, so let's say we go here. So that's why, uh, so this promote operation. So that's why uh, not only this move, knight c3 protect this pawn, it's also prevent this uh, check. It's block the check. So now the threat of taking this is real now. Okay. Before this is not real because they are checked and the queen will be exchanged. But in this case now, because this diagonal is already closed, then the threat of taking on b7 is real now. So black must do something lah. Eh, let me remove this. How to remove the color? Okay, black must do something lah. So in this game, uh, black play c6 because it's protect this pawn on the b7. Okay. So now, uh, uh, Murphy uh, continue play uh, bishop g5. You can see the way how uh, in the opening you need this what we call the development lah. You need to develop as soon as possible lah. So you pin the uh, the knight here, and then let's say this uh, pin this thing, and then uh, black play this thing because uh, black want to remove this attacker for this because now you can see the black uh, piece the queen is tied to what we call to protect this what we call this pound so by what we call by pushing b5 black us uh white get away from this uh, line but morphy they just uh, don't care about that because he know that this queen if you look this king is quite the, the position itself is quite like restricted so when you find your the opponent queen is quite restricted tactic can spring here and there so in this case, uh, Murphy just take here, take that. So you take and then you can you check like that. So now uh, the black play like this, not only it block the check, it's also uh, develop the piece lah. So that's why it's much better to do this than go here lah. Because you develop also the, what we call the, the die. Okay, so, so, um, so in this case, uh, black uh, white continue to what we call his attack by uh, castling uh, queen side. So now you can see this knight here is quite shaky because now they are like a two uh, piece attacking this uh, uh, what we call this uh, knight, and this knight is uh, pinned. Uh, so the queen is pinned. So that's the reason why in this case uh, black play uh, this what we call this. Uh, Queen uh, e6 lah, Queen e6. The reason for this is that if this take, if let's say this take, then the knight will take back without uh, opening the pin uh, of the queen lah. And also it, and also this move Queen e6, also uh, sort of like uh, inviting the white to exchange the queen. When the queen is not on the board, then the attack normally uh, die down lah. So cancel, okay. So, uh, so in this game, uh, what what uh, display is that? Uh, and not not yet, not yet. I think this is the best. I think this is the what we call uh, the best uh, defense lah. This is the best defense. But uh, in the game, uh, uh, black doesn't play that. Black play this thing. Okay, this is what happened in the game. Uh, promote variation black play uh, root d8 to take care of this uh, knight okay uh, the, the the best defense is basically just go here because you inviting the exchange and also uh, at least this you can take back lah so that is one of the deal lah so but in the game uh, the the black play what we call black play root d8 like this uh, and then uh, white take here and then uh, you take here okay and then now pin again because this is still pinned so white uh, white 
improve his piece and try to attack this what we call this uh, this rook so in this case now uh, only then uh, what we call the the black play like this which is one move later lah but this too late any too late uh, anyway because you can just take here take here okay even though the the knight take the bishop now there are no pin but then you have the tactic here you have check here and then you take here and then you can check mate here okay so basically i think most of you know about this that's why i just go uh, very fast lah this is not really uh, what you call it, very difficult thing it's just to show you that uh, what happened uh, when you are uh, beginning at the playing chess the first thing that you learn is how to mate okay uh, the first thing you how to play three move checkmate and then you know uh, this uh, legal mate and then once you become stronger the game goes farther and farther and become more tactical and so on so that is typically the journey of those who are playing chess the reason why i show this uh, even though i said before that we want to focus on end game is that in the end game also you need to know how to checkmate in this morphy game you know this is what for example like this huh? this this move queen b8 is tactical in nature okay you want to open because you know this what we call this configuration with uh, rook and uh, bishop can deliver a checkmate but now we have this knight so this is just what we call uh, the way how to deflect the knight so the knight come in so the the, the line is open and you can checkmate so this is typical checkmate with a uh, rook and bishop uh, <coughs> so you need to know some tactic uh, we will not cover that uh, in this uh, uh, coaching because tactic you the best way to 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 study tactic is just to do a lot of uh, tactical puzzle lah. so that's you can find in leeches or in uh, books or whatever lah. so so that is tactic in the uh, opening but the the main idea is that uh, what we call regardless opening be the game or end game you need to know how to finish your opponent okay you need to know how to finish off your opponent if you not then it's very difficult for you to win any game lah okay <coughs> as i said before we focus on the end game in this uh, series uh, in this uh, coaching series okay you should know how to handle let's say i bring a new board uh, let's say i save this first let's say i save this first <coughs> hey, how to how to open this thing view uh send layout okay let's say i bought uh, insert uh home you game yes okay uh mm -hmm. okay later lah okay okay so now when you are in the end game you need to know which end game eh? for example let's say you are uh, playing a game the first thing you should know is that you should know which end game is winnable or not so the first thing you should know is basically uh, let's say uh, how to okay you need to know about basic math eh? so this i think all of you know lah this so it's not like it's just for me to just recap lah. so you need to know that uh, you can win if you have king and queen versus king so this you 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 know uh, you can win you have king and rook versus king and then you have you can win also king bishop and bishop versus king you can also know king bishop and knight versus king okay so this is checkmate that is this is you should know this uh by heart lah especially these two the king queen versus king and king rook versus king this is the thing that you need to know by heart this uh, not necessarily because it's not really uh, happen uh, commonly lah okay so you should know also that king knight knight versus king can also checkmate eh? can also checkmate checkmate king with two knight plus uh, versus king can also checkmate but it cannot force it cannot force mat okay it can check mat but it cannot force mat okay uh, i will discuss uh, later lah but uh, just to show for uh, and then you have 
king versus king and then uh, king bishop versus king and then king knight versus king versus king cannot checkmate checkmate okay let me put here first okay so you can see here this basic mat here meaning that you can force mat you can force mat okay you can force mat <coughs> let me put here okay you can force mat uh, when you have a king queen versus king king rook versus king king bishop bishop versus king king bishop knight versus king you can force mat <coughs> king knight knight versus king can also check map but it cannot force map for example like this eh? if let's like, say i give a position set up last night so for example you have king you have uh this and then you have this thing okay let's say this is the position oh hilang semua mana tadi oh saya boleh copy ya tak apalah okay so for example this position this position uh you before you learn about a game you need to know about the end result first for example you are uh white here let's say uh let's say i put the name lah let's say uh nuril you are white here let's say uh, uh nuril you are white can you check map black mm. Mm. i don't think so i don't think so but let's say nuril you play with amin eh? you play with amin amin lost on time Let's say Amin lost on time. You you are this position. Uh, Amin lost on time, and Amin offer you a draw. What you will you do? What will you do, Nurel? Um, I'm not accept the draw. Why? Why you not accept a draw? You said you cannot match. Um, because uh, I have. Two pieces that can check map back. Um, if I have the time, uh, I think I can. Uh, I I can check map. I mean, but if he lost the time, I still can can play the the winning. Okay, the idea is this. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay, the idea is this. Ah, huh? this position, this position, you cannot force check map. Okay. That's the first thing. The first thing you need to know that this position, you cannot force. The word is force here. Eh? Meaning that, let's say you are playing this. You are playing this position. And then your opponent have a lot of time. You also have a lot of time. And then your opponent raise uh, uh, his or her hand and panggil arbiter. Arbiter, ini nak draw. So arbiter tengok, most probably the arbiter will say, okay, this is draw. But, Let's say you play this thing, you cannot force checkmate, but you checkmate is possible. But checkmate is possible. Checkmate is possible with the help of opponent. Okay, so checkmate is possible. For example, for example, let's say ah, uh, this uh, salah. So saya buat baru lah. Uh, home, new game. I can see juga. So for example like this ah, huh? so for example I put here, uh, put here and then let's say this uh, here and then this uh, here and then this here, eh, this here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's say this position ah. Huh? Okay, let's say this position ah. Huh? So <coughs> if you check like this. Okay, the king have a pot if the option go here and go here. Either go to the 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 corner or you go to here. So the notion that you cannot force checkmate is that if let's say black play the best move, then you never can ever checkmate black. For example here, black uh, go here, then you cannot checkmate lah. But if let's say black help you, black play the worst move play like this then the checkmate is possible so that's what i mean this two knight the 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 king with, with two knight cannot force checkmate so but it can only checkmate if your opponent uh cooperate and this is important because 
uh, the 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 knowledge this is important because when you are in time travel okay for example uh, let's say uh, uh, for example uh, no let's say you have this let's say you have this uh, king and then you have this thing eh king like this okay by right this is a draw right by right this is draw you have like knight you have king you have knight and king by right this draw but let's say Duril is black and Amin is white and Amin lose on time okay so is it the game draw or win or what Faiz let's say Duril play with uh, Amin Duril is white Amin is black if Amin lose on time is this game draw or win or lose for Duril Amin Amin lose. Uh, uh, Nuril win. Okay, Amin lose. Nuril win. Because why? Because it's possible to uh, to what we call to construct the checkmate position with the worst play. Okay, for example, you can checkmate. Ah, uh, uh, kenapa ni susah lah ini. So you can checkmate like this lah. Uh, this, this, uh, this. Okay. Eh, silap ni. Okay. Okay, so this checkmate position. So this is possible, lah. Because why? Because ah, uh, salah. No, because this. Let's say I put here. This put here. Okay. And this uh, maybe put here, lah. Put here. Okay. Because here there are position that is possible to checkmate. You go here. For example, let's say this is uh, I mean move. Uh, I mean is black. I mean move like this. Okay. And then Nuri can checkmate like this. So this uh, normally when people play, uh, if they don't know the rule, their opponent will say, uh, "Can you draw?" Uh, uh, for example, not here lah. But before that, if you have uh, this, of course lah, it's already checkmate. But uh, because this position is what we call is possible to checkmate, if let's say you have like let's say you have this thing, okay, let's say you this thing. If let's say your opponent lose on time, and then you don't know the 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 rules of the chess, you say that uh, the opponent offer you okay, uh, I offer you a draw. This is a draw, even though he lost on time. If you don't know, you will accept the draw because you think that okay, macam mana lah nak check map benda ni. But in reality, because they are possible to check map with the worst possible play, even though this position looks like drawish. If your opponent lose on time, you must claim win, because many player doesn't claim it. Okay, they don't. They they what we call they 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 the opponent lost on time, but the 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 other side doesn't claim the win because they think that this should be a draw. Because how come you check make this? Okay, so you need to make sure you know the rule. Okay, you know the rule. That's the important thing lah. What I want to show here lah. So uh, if let's say you have king and king of course here if you if your opponent lost on time you cannot claim win because there are no possible way to checkmate the king with the king so that's that's understood enough if you have a bishop and the king like this you also cannot force checkmate there are no position in chess that you can checkmate with just lone king and lone bishop you can try you you cannot check mat it because if you try to put here if you try to put in the corner let's say you put in the corner if you try to do this uh put here uh let's say put here and then okay like this even is the king in the corner if you try to check let's say you put uh let's say insert null move insert uh put insert tap no black white okay let's say a white to move even you check like this you still cannot what we call cannot what we call cannot check man so this regardless uh, your opponent lose the time or not if you are white let's say your opponent is black if you are white if your opponent lose on time it's still draw because you cannot force check man even with the worst possible play so the rule is very important eh, to understand Similarly, if you have, for example, uh, for example, instead of this, you have the knight. You also cannot force checkmate with one knight. Okay, 
so if you lose on time if let's say you are black and you lose on time this game is still draw okay so you need to know the rule huh? okay so that that's uh, at least uh, you should know the basic lah that that what we call uh you need to differentiate between uh you can force you can check mat you need to differentiate between what uh, you need to differentiate between can force mat versus possible to mat okay you need to differentiate between this can force mat and we versus possible to make okay forcing the mat versus possible to make is two different thing eh? for example uh, like a two night like two night before like two night before this thing you can check mat but you cannot force check mat okay the implication is in the time trouble and so on okay so now uh, let's go a little bit about uh, what we call uh, position setup. No, okay. Let's go how to check mat. Huh? Just basic. Huh? This basic. Huh? Just, I don't want to go very. Just go very fast. Huh? Okay. Okay. So you have queen. Uh, what we call queen, uh, king and king, especially for the sister. Huh? Uh, hopefully this should be uh, mastered very. Uh, lah. I mean, this should be very second nature. Huh? It's not like I want to teach you this. This is basically because you are master player. You should know this. But remember, uh, during the game, end game is the final phase. Normally, during end game, you are feel exhausted. You don't want you you just penat dah waktu tu. So at least you need to know how to conduct this chat mat basic chat mat without so much thinking lah so in order to do that you need to have a plan you need to have what we call you cannot just check 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 you cannot just check 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 macam ni je because you check check macam ni je you macam tak ada plan okay so in order to what we call to uh, to play this to really uh, play this chat mat then you need to have a plan lah the easiest plan is to make a barrier lah so the 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 way how is to make this one. so this is basically this promote promote version this like say i delete delete okay eh uh, delete 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 variation okay so the first thing you can do is that you create a barrier you create a barrier between this eh uh. so in order to check back with the queen you create the barrier here okay and then you go here and then you bring the king up and then the the king the king goes whatever you uh, knight atas and then the king go here when you see in the what we call this facing each other you can just go down and then this will push uh, backward lah so now you create a new barrier here lah you need to new barrier and then you do this until the end lah so this is basically the barrier method lah i call it the barrier method lah so this uh, take before use barrier method so at least when you have this thing it's easy for you to what we call to uh, to without thinking you can do it easily lah so let's test uh, this is. okay so let's say I play with this okay let's say this too you make a barrier so you make uh, another barrier and then the king goes when the king cannot go down then you just go up and then when the king goes to a uh, lower uh, rank you just make tighten the barrier you tighten the barrier again and again lah then if the king stay at this you push the king up lah and then now the king goes to the what we call to the what we call the last uh, uh, rank you can just tighten the barrier further so now you can see the barrier method try to restrict the king uh, and so on so i think the rest is just easy lah so just bring the thing just bring the thing uh, and this there are many player make a mistake here the chat mat is here lah this chat mat lah but there are two things when when i saw during the especially in the on the board game yes queen and king can win against the king very easily but there are two uh thing that you need to be careful lah first this thing this is a draw this is a draw okay this is a draw you cannot move lah you cannot move lah. this is a draw 
and also you need to also make sure that you don't put uh, this let's say this you go here let's say this thing uh, let's say this go here let's go here let's say there are one more position like this let's say insert null move insert insert null move okay insert okay this okay this position this two position uh, this position the triangle uh, this triangle okay commonly happen when you are uh, what we call when you you play in less time when they are time trouble this happen a lot okay meaning that even though you have a queen but unfortunately you are basically you are throw away the winner because this is still made so there are two way to still make with the uh, queen one is this one is this and also the other one is the one that i show you before lah this one okay what is this what is this so this is two uh thing that you need to be aware when you play uh queen against the king lah even though most of you know this very well but this thing happen again and again especially when you are time trouble so make sure you don't play this and also play this the triangle and also the queen at this f7 even they are not queen even the king there this also uh, uh what we call the, the, the what the, the, the statement so make sure that that's only for the queen uh king versus king lah so uh that's queen versus king so now so this i think most of you know okay uh what i found that uh typically for the sister lah they 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 are what we call they are have a little bit problem with this this rook queen is pretty easy but the rook they can play check and check but then they they don't know how to finish off but i think the all mustang here know right i think uh let me see uh jj siapa hani ah hani tahu lah kot kur kur tahu kan kurang lagi ah ini susah kalau online ni sebab tak tahu you ada ke tak sini kur kur ada ke ada ada. Ha. Dia tahu ke? Tahu kan? Ah. Uh, tahu ke chat Kalau kata saya kasi you masa 30 second, can you do it? Chat in 30 second. Lambat kut. Lambat tak tu you ta ah. tak 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 uh, I need to cater also those who are uh, sister player huh? so hopefully maybe this may be a basic for you but uh, to be fair I also need to cover for those who are uh, new I mean maybe not strong enough in the end game maybe a new player so that's why I need to cover this also lah so uh, we done with the queen uh, what we call the queen king versus uh, king so here we want to see how to win this lah I just give you the method, ah, the method how to uh, what we call to play against this. For this, we use a box method, ah, box method, box method. What does it mean by box method? Is that if you look the rook, you put the rook anywhere in the what we call on the chessboard, you see the the rook will make a box like a box, right? Like a box. So the idea is that the box method is basically you try, you try to tighten, tighten the box further and further tight t i g s t tighten the box further and further lah further and further lah so that is basically the idea lah so now what you do is that the first if you want to play this thing let's say you are white uh, uh, uh so cool so you just make a box instead of this now let's say kenapa ni position set up uh subtle lah ni control c okay what's the setup no white to move okay let's say now okay control v okay so now uh you can see this uh box the first box and then you want to tighten this further so basically you go here lah so basically you know now the box is become a uh, uh what we call the tighter become smaller so let's say uh white what uh black move okay let's say black move so i bring the king first saya tak boleh buat ni saya tak suka lah ni dia insert is uh, bot home 
Aqui visão. Aqui. Ah, ini kenapa dia kat sini ni? Sekejap eh. Okay, beza. Okay. 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 So, now the king go here. 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 And then you tighten the box eh. Okay. So, now uh, careful lah. Because the king attacking the thing. So, you go far away lah. You maybe go here. Go here. And then go here. And then you knight uh, king. And then let's say you go, uh, let's say this thing, eh, the king go here. So you can see this in the box, right? Okay, so now you don't want to make this box bigger. You stay lah, you stay there. And then maybe you can move the king, okay? And then the, 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 the what you call, the the king will move somewhere lah. The king will move somewhere. So let's say the king move there. So you tighten the box further. So you can see the box become smaller, okay? So and then, let's say now the uh, the uh black time for to move so black go here so you need to bring the king and then you move there you don't want to uh mess with the box that you did before so you move here and then you go here and then you tighten the box you tighten the box so you can see the box become smaller and then now uh let's say the white move there so you tighten the box smaller again so you can see the box become even smaller there so then, uh, once you cannot, because you don't want to do this, because you give a uh, root for free lah, you move the king lah, and then you go here, and then you don't want to make it bigger yet, so you move the king, and then now here, only then you can tighten even, okay, you can tighten the, the box further, and then you are uh, going then, and here, don't make mistake that, uh, uh, like this, because even though you tighten the box, but this is still mad lah, the king cannot move. So don't just uh, careful about the smallest box. This is the smallest box that you can make, ah. Okay. So so now the king goes down. So you just uh, what we call? You can just uh, basically you can just you can just play like this, and then you do like this, and you play tempo, and then you just checkmate like that. Okay. So that's how you uh, play uh, checkmate with the uh, rook, lah. So basically, the idea for this is basically, if you look here, you have a box, you make a box, and then uh, the king must uh, go somewhere, and then you move the king forward, and then move forward, uh, move forward, and make the box smaller, and be careful not to give the rook for free, and then get forward, and then like this, you can see the box like this, you try to maintain the, the box, and don't make it uh, bigger, maintain or make it smaller so let's say if you cannot make it smaller you just move the king and then if you can make smaller then move the rook and then if uh, you cannot make any uh, if you don't want to move the rook yet then move the king and then move the rook make the box smaller and then move the rook so that box even smaller and then move the king okay and then make the box even smaller and then careful because this is the draw so this you don't want the if uh, very too small okay so you need to make to give the king uh what we call the the the, the, the nafas lah the the blazing space lah so so you are basically you can do uh basically many way lah you can play this but you can just do this thing and then key a seven and then play a tempo move and then you can check man so that's basically the rule hopefully uh, after this uh, nadra or what we call uh, kur can can do this lah can do this thing can can play this lah okay can uh, what we call can plan can play uh, what we call practice for this so in order to practice this if let's say you don't have this what we call this uh, what we call this uh, chess base you can always use uh, uh, lead chess most of you know the chest right so let's say i put the chest you can just practice here so for example you open the chest the chest and then you can practice here how to do it you can just go to what we call tools uh maybe uh, board editor go board editor so and then you just uh try to put your position that you want to practice here so for example let's say i clear the board here and then I want to put what? I want to put the rook. Let's say I put here. And then the king put here. And then the black king here. In tengah. Okay. So and then you want to practice this. You need to practice this. You cannot just 
uh, learn about theory eh. you need to practice eh. so what you can do is that you go continue from here continue from here play with the computer and then you can see that uh, what blah 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 you can see they are strength so stockfish is the engine that they use if you don't know about the engine whatsoever uh, i i you should uh, watch this thing lah chess engine and so on i discuss further here lah so for those who are new you need to ni lah you need to refer back here so you go to the highest strength and then you are white because you want to practice uh, using rook to checkmate the king and then you are white choose white uh, wait wait i need to to again again eh? again uh, analysis board editor uh, clear board and then let's say you put here let's say put here there put uh, put here put whatever lah put here and then uh, so continue from here play with computer okay not only you put the strength to it you also need to make sure you put the time okay maybe you put only maybe one minute only increment zero because remember when you play a game not only you need to play uh you need to know how to win you also need to know how to win in the stipulated time you can play for win you can think for a long but then if you lose on time that's no use lah so make sure you put like uh, what we call uh one minute or maybe 30 second whatever like that 40 second like that 30 second like that and then at least you can ni lah kan eh rendah sangat eh oh so one, one second is the minimum eh okay eh uh, one, one, one minutes per minute so you can do this and then it give you this thing you have one minute in order to to match uh, the king because in real game you have time you don't play for like unlimited amount of time so you can just uh, play this because you already put your side as a white then you if you put like this and then he will move uh, the, the richest will move lah okay he will move that so you now your your time is 55 okay so this is how you you play lah you you play uh you improve with your time lah so you play lah you play and then so you can see so you can just whatever like this and then you do box method okay you like this and then you do box method and then you do box again and then you come here and you come here and then you make box make smaller box make even smaller box and then uh, cannot do so you can do here you can do here okay uh, you make a smaller box you go here you go here and then this you you can uh, you, you you move you can move here be careful like that okay you can uh macam mana ni oh sorry macam ni lah okay you make uh, even smaller and then you go here and then you go here and then you can check back so basically that's the way lah you can check you need to test yourself so that you can finish the check mat in what uh basically what we call the very minimal time eh? so that's the idea of this box method so you need to practice you cannot just wash uh, or read you need to practice and you need to practice with time okay so that's the idea lah so let's say now uh let's say now let's say you analysis board let's say we want to go so we have learned now about the rook queen uh, rook king versus king okay so this the two most common most common lah uh, rook how to mate with the rook and how to mate with the queen sometimes you see that uh, people teach you about how to what we call board uh, let's say insert in supporting setup uh, no let's say sometimes people show you how to what we call mat with the to be shop eh, this let's say this thing okay okay so this also what i said uh what i mentioned before that's to be shop and king can force mat so meaning that if let's say you are in a game and then you have to be shop your opponent have the king and then you have time your opponent have time so your opponent cannot claim a draw because you can force the checkmate here 
So to be shop and uh, this is uh, quite easy lah, pretty easy lah, uh, still pretty easy. So the way how you uh, play, uh, uh, what we call, uh, play a win against here is just make a barrier lah. So, so what I do is make a barrier. So what I mean by make a barrier, basically you move the bishop like this. Uh, let's say, uh, ala ni, we up so always wait ah, huh? always wait. Okay, so make a barrier, make a barrier, make a barrier. So basically, what you do is that you just maybe you do like this, and then you make the barrier. So if you look, this is basically what uh, meaning that the barrier. So the bishop. Uh, side by side with each other so you can see this create a barrier here okay so the king will never be able to reach the bishop and the bishop constrain the king from coming out from this barrier so the easiest way to play against this two two bishop versus king is just to barrier and then you make like a box method with the rook you make it smaller and smaller so that's uh, what you do lah you make it smaller and smaller so let's see how uh, we do eh so go here, make it smaller, uh, make it smaller lah. Make it smaller, make it smaller. So make it smaller. So you can see now it make even smaller. So you can see you don't need to think. You just get the idea only. Okay, you make even smaller, and then you go here, and then you go here, and then you go here. So you can see you make even smaller. So now you can see it's even smaller here, even smaller, okay, even smaller. Okay. So now, let's say you move here. So now you want to checkmate. When you have this even smaller, you make you need to make sure that uh, the king have a place to move, huh? Because for example, let's say you play like this, and then the bish, uh, the king move here, and then you play like this. This is still mate, lah. You cannot move. This this cannot move. It just still mate. It cannot move anyway. So you need to be very careful. Like the rook before, you need to be ready really careful that you must make sure the king have the breathing space so so the way to check mat here is basically you need to go where to check mat. normally the check mat happen in the corner okay so you need to decide which corner you want to check mat so because this thing is in this let me put here because you can see here this bishop is in this what we call right left side on the queen side so the check mat will happen here lah on the what we call on the queen side lah so how to deliver the checkmate is as you go you bring the king you you need to bring the king here you need to bring the king here there. okay where you want the corner the right corner so let's say the 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 the, the black move and then the move here and then move move here move move here just don't think you don't need to think you just play like based on idea only okay now you need to think because now the king is already on near the corner so you need to check man so because the, this king can move here and there so you need to find a way in order to what we call to prevent the king go to here so what you can do is just you put here lah so the king cannot go here so the king must go there okay and then you you prevent the king from go here so you put here and then the king go here so now you cannot you don't do this because if you do this it's still mad because you cannot move anywhere so you need to play what we call the tempo move maybe like this so the king go here and then you this and then you this and then you check mat here so the same thing also you can do in the lead chess okay the most important thing is not knowing how to check mat is how to check mat it in practice huh? that's far more important so you can do again is by by going to what we call to here to board editor board editor and just put uh, what we call clear the board and then put the bishop this put here put wherever you want to go and this uh, let's say king here let's say king uh, where king here okay so this bishop and then you uh, start continue from here play with the computer and then try to make sure give the challenge lah go maybe one minute like that give the strength for the engine the highest and then you take the what we call the white piece and then you try to check mat and even here it's very easy because you just make the barrier for example let's say i want to make a barrier here so the, the time is moved now okay so the time my time is going down so i make a barrier like that so you don't need to think where is what we call where to put you just play with the idea so now i want to tighten the barrier further so i go here and then i make nearby 
Okay, so now I make a barrier even smaller. Okay, so I make a barrier even smaller. Okay, so I go here. Okay, so maybe I go here. Okay, I go here. Okay, I go here. So you can see the same idea before, but now it's on the other side lah, meaning that uh, rotated 90 degree. So now you can see this in this what we call, I don't know how to make uh, the, 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 the the arrow here, but you can see this in on the, what we call the lower side here. So you know the, you check mat happen, will check mat happen, will, the check mat will happen here lah. So you need to bring king here lah. So you can bring here lah. So you can bring here, you can bring here, and then you can bring here, and then you can bring here, and then careful not doing this you need to play the what we call tempo here and then this and then check mat so that's how you play you need to make sure you also put the time not only just what we call just play like that because in reality you have time okay so that's a uh, check mat with the bishop lah so and then the last thing is basically uh, the check mat with the what we call the knight and bishop is easy I mean even this knight, what we call knight and bishop and the king and the king, even this is very still easy like It's not it's not so difficult, okay? Because but of course you don't really you don't need to study much about this because the probability for this happen in your game in your life in your chess journey is very very low. I mean you might. You might get this position maybe once in your life or maybe not even once in your life so when you study this you are not study for practicality so much you are studying because you want to know how the knight and the bishop move how they cooperate each other because to get this position in your real game the probability is very low it's very rare for you to get i mean it's possible but for you to reach this, you it's much better for you to study root end game and so on, the more practical end game. But at least when you study this, you are learning how to what we call to know how the piece move, how the piece cooperate with each other. So this, remember, in chess you have fifty move rule. Eh? In chess you have fifty move rule. Okay, the problem with this, even though bishop and knight can force checkmate, mean that it can force checkmate. The problem is that you need to do the checkmate within the 50 move rule. If you move and after 50 move you still cannot checkmate, then the game will be draw. That is the rule of uh, chess lah. Okay. If you without okay, the, the rule is said that without any pawn move or capture after 50 move, the game the games will draw. Will draw. So, so that's the rule lah. so meaning that if let's say this they are poundless they are no pound okay let's say you move knight 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 you are white you are move knight 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 you move uh, bishop 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 but after 50 move you still cannot checkmate so the rule said that the game is draw so you need to make sure even though you know this can checkmate you need to make sure you can deliver in within 50 move so that's very important lah so when you play bishop and knight the most important thing is to take care about the knight because the what you call if you move the knight to wrong square you will lose a lot of time okay the bishop is easy because uh, it can move far but the knight you must be very careful lah because if you move a knight very what you call very to the wrong square then it will cost you a lot of uh, lah, a lot of uh, time and you might exceed the 50 move rule so how to check mat this thing okay so in order to check mat this thing you need to know where to start eh? where to start first in order to check mat with the knees you need to you can only check mat in the corner that is same color with the bishop for example this eh? this bishop is on the white eh? so you can only check mat here or here the king must be here or here around here lah around here or here you can never check mat here because if you try to do it let's say eh, if you if you try to make the the position eh, let's say this i have the uh, the light square bishop let's say i want to put the king here and then i have the bishop here and have let's say i put here uh, the king here and then i have the knight let's say knight 
here you cannot check mate you cannot check mate because here the king can move here the king can move uh, on the what we call on this thing okay if let's say you move the knight here move knight here the king can what we call the king can go away so you cannot check mate here okay you cannot check mate here if let's ah you you, you try any configuration you cannot check mate in this corner okay but if you have black bishop here instead of white bishop you have black bishop you can check mat lah you can check mat let's say here you can check mat like this so it's possible to check mat on the corner provided the corner is the same color of the bishop that's the first thing lah you need to make sure the 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 the, the corner uh, must be the same color of the bishop okay another way to check mat uh, on the same color is this lah you got here and then you have this uh, bishop here and then here so this also check mat but still you can see this check mat happen on this square in this corner eh? the corner with the same color of the bishop okay not here not here it's not possible to make it so once you know this the idea the big idea then you can step backward lah so for example let's say i have this thing okay let's say this let's say i have this uh, this thing let's say i have this and then i make this 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 this, this. Okay, so now how check how to check my this? Huh? Okay, let's say this. Okay, let me position. No, let's say I put white. Okay, okay, let's say this. How to check my this? You know that in order to check my this, uh, what we call this, uh, this king, you need to bring this king so that the king must go here. You need to go to this position. So that's once you know the idea, the big idea is easy. So you need to bring the king here. And if you are black, if you are black, you're playing black, you are defending, you try your best not to go here. You go here. Okay, you go here. You try, you make life difficult for the your opponent. You go here. But if you are white, you try your best to force the king to go here. Because this is the corner where you can uh, check mat. So how to check mat uh, here is, uh, as I said before, the knight is make the very important lah. Uh, bishop make a tempo the knight is the one that uh, what we call you need to make sure how to relax so uh, the, the way is to make the, as you can see here the knight here cover this square cover the square and you can see the bishop cover the square that is different than the knight so the knights always try to cover the square that is not covered by the bishop so that's the reason why this configuration okay this configuration you try to aim to get this configuration later i will show you how but i want to show you the mechanism how to check map from this position to get the check map so as i said the movement of the knight is the most crucial one so the idea is that the knight you will move in the v position in w position lah this thing because when you move this position like this you can see the knight here cover this and this the knight here cover this and this and the knight here cover this and and ni lah so maksudnya is cover all the light square not covered by the bishop because the bishop will cover the rest of the dark square so that's the reason the the v uh, the w uh, maneuver lah okay so let me remove the color here so how to deliver the check mat here because let's say so the first thing let's say now the black is to move eh? let's say i uh, insert 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 one insert 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 null move okay let's say i put black to move to let's say black want to go here because you don't want to go there so what you do here so you just play tempo and then black will go here back and then you make sure so that's the purpose of bishop to take care of this dark square and then you cannot go here the king must go there lah so this is the important where you need to make sure you use the correct knight move so the knight go here the reason for this now this knight cover this thing cover this this move lah this what we call this square so the king cannot go up okay but the king can go uh, further like so you can see that the king now start want to escape they, he want to escape so you need to know what you do lah so what you do is that you bring the king here and then you can see this is easy lah but you can see now the king can escape the king can will try to go here we go to what we call to this impossible corner okay 
So how to do this? This is where the what we call the W maneuver, the one that I show you. This one, this one, this one, this one is very important. Eh? So what you do now is that the the what we call the knight will go here. Okay, it seems like this thing. You allow the the king. It seems like you allow the king go up, right? Going to sort of like this way, but there are very specific feature about this knight. Because the knight and the bishop will combine each other. Now, he will try to make a barrier here. So, you can see, he make a barrier. This bishop make a barrier. Make a barrier. This knight jaga here. This king jaga here. So, he cannot go up. Okay. So, the king must go down. Okay. When you go down here, so you can see the bishop make an even tighter barrier. So, you can see the knight cover here. The king cover here. So, you can see the king cannot up cannot go up so it's like you forcing the king okay you forcing the king go down so now the king go down and when the king go down then you can just go up lah like this uh, move the king and then you are going here and now you can see the configuration that you see here is almost the same as at the beginning you can see at the beginning like this right now what you can see now is more or less the same but it's move a little bit uh, uh, one rank further lah so you repeat this situation again and again and at the end you can check back lah so what you do here is that you just do like this uh, you can do like this and then you make like this and then you again like, like this tak nak kasih dia keluar and then you risk and when you go back you can just check like that you can just check here and then go here and then and then you move there and then you can move there and then here you can start uh, what we call uh, put here and then this you can play lah once you, once it's in the corner then I think you know by yourself lah how to play like this you can do like this and then this be careful and don't do like this because it will be still mad eh? so you play like this and then you check and then you check mat. so basically that's the way so the most important thing you don't need to to memorize everything the most important thing you need to understand the idea first you need to know that in order to checkmate the king with the bishop and knight you need to checkmate in the corner that is the same color of the bishop that's the first thing secondly you need to know the w maneuver this one w maneuver okay how to know where the what we call the knight uh, located is that you see the knight cover here cover the color that is not because let's say you have knight, right? you don't know where to put the knight. You need to put the knight in such a way that the knight cover the square that is not covered by the bishop. Okay, so that's W maneuver. And then you just play this, 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 and then you play, and then you play tempo, and then you can bring this king. You try to bring this king to this position, lah. If the king go to this position, you try to play tempo move with the with the bishop. You play tempo move with the bishop. You play tempo move with the bishop, not with the knight, because the knight. You try not to move the knight much because any mistake in the knight move can cost you a lot of time, a lot of move further, and then you end up with uh, with what we call with the with the what we call with the uh, uh, less uh, uh, fifty move rule will be rich lah. Okay, so now let's say now this is the way lah. So let's say now, uh, but in reality, it's not like this. The, in reality, if you are facing this position, the the king can be here, the knight can be here, this thing can be here. So when you have this position, what you do is that you just push it. I mean, you don't need to know very detail where to go. You just sort of like try to move the king first, try to move the king first, and then try to move the knight then because to make nearer with the king, and then try with the bishop to sort of like to push to the corner you push this king to the corner first and then once you do the corner you go to the corner that is same color with the bishop for example this so you need to push the king here so that's the idea lah so let's do in the lead chest huh? so for example let's say the lead chest so let's say uh, I put uh, what we call where is the thing where is the analysis spot what's the analysis I've lupa dah uh, analysis spot got analysis spot eh analysis spot ke ok 
okay they got okay this thing so you can always play the, you know, from the chest huh? you go to board editor you can just put the knight uh, somewhere wherever you want clear board you put lah you put the knight here you put the bishop where where you just put there you can use king here and then you put king in the middle so much more difficult lah and then you go continue from here and then play with the computer and then uh, you can see okay one minute maybe uh, to what we call to to slow lah uh, to fast lah but it's okay you can try I mean, it's, it's up to you uh, what you want to do but you can try so maybe let's say I try with a uh, white so you can see now I have this thing the king in the middle so you want to check mat this in one minute because remember end game happened in the end of phase of the game so where the time is so little so you need to make sure you can deliver the checkmate in a due time even though this position can be is winnable for white but you need to do that before your time flag so you need to do it so the first thing here the idea is that you need to move uh, uh you move the king uh, forward lah so that and then you move king forward and then you move king forward okay and then move the knight because knight is uh slow and then move the knight, knight slow, and then uh, move the bishop, okay, move the bishop, just go, at, so now you can see, you want to go the bishop here, eh? so let's say you put the knight here, yeah, just put there, okay, move the uh, king, and then, uh, let's say you put like this, okay, uh, put like this, just put here, okay, my tempo okay so you can see there are some resemblance eh, with the before eh? some resem uh, resemblance with the before so you can see more or less the same right ah, okay you can see you can get the the same so now from here is very automatic lah it's automatic lah because you cannot want you you don't want this come here so you you want you don't want to come here and then you go here and then you do here it's automatic here lah so this you you need to what we call prevent this from coming out so you you use bishop to prevent here okay and then you go here and then you uh it's okay you do here okay you do here okay you do here you do here and then you do here and then you do here and then you check here and then you do here and then you do here alamak masa pula check check <laughs> masa but anyway you you know that the, the the way right so basically this you can just finish lah you can just uh, go here uh, uh, and this is bot so i use and spot so from here is basically uh, let's say uh, now white move is basically white go here and then the king must go here and then make sure you don't do this because it's still mad so you just play with tempo move and then you do this and then check and then this and check mat so basically that's the how you train for this uh check mat uh, the basic mat you need to know which position that you can force check mat so in this case uh there are four there are four uh which is what we call there are four position that you can uh, force check mat which is king queen versus king and then king rook versus king and then uh, what we call king bishop versus king and then king uh, bishop knight versus king okay so this at least you must make sure you good in this two king queen versus king king rook versus king this is the most practical lah this is for fun only i mean just to know how to play with the piece it's not like you will face this in your real game i mean it's very rare like it's very, the probability you get this position is very low lah. so this you need to master king queen versus king king rook versus king i think that's it for today uh, i'm sorry i take like a long time today uh it's 11 30 so i think uh uh i think that's it for today uh it's already 11 30 uh it's one hour beyond than uh, what uh, we promised so sorry for that because uh, this is the first day